Um, as you all know, it's March already and that means monthly favorites video! Is it me or does it feel like I haven't done a monthly favorites video in like seven months? Oh wait, I actually haven't done a favorites video in seven months. It's weird how I actually made them but I never really edit them and put them up so... I'm sorry about that, but I am going to make this video kind of quick and not 17 minutes long like my previous video. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I want to start with is beauty products. I don't really have a lot of favorites this past month. Um, I don't know why, I just kind of stick to the same thing that I use. But I do have a few things that I tried and that I liked and I'm going to talk about it. So, beauty stuff. I'm just going to start with my mascara. And the one that I've been using a lot in February is the... L'Oreal, the what is it called? Voluminous Power. Yeah, this is the one that I use. The wand looks like this. There. The wand looks like this, and it's I like it because it's not plastic. So it's just I prefer these type of ones because it's just easy like to brush my lashes with for some reason. Yeah, I like this better than the plastic bristle ones because it makes my lashes softer and I feel like it's easier to remove. I don't am I deep, am I weird when I say that I think these kind of bristles make um mascaras easier to remove. I don't know if it's just me. But I like this one. It's been a favorite. <sighs> the next product I want to talk about is my blush. The one that I've been using like pretty much almost every day in February. It's my Well Dressed Blush by MAC. Whoopsies! This blush is like a cute baby pink color. It's not as strong as some of the blushes that I wear from like Victoria's Secret or whatever. It's just, I don't know if you can see the swatch on my finger. It's a very, very light pink. The thing about this blush is that um, if you're if you have a 10 or something, I don't think that's really gonna work for you. You need to be kind of pale for that to work. Um, and I, I'm pretty pale and I still have to work that into my skin to actually get some color. But then in the end, it's pretty. It's like a, a sh kind of shiny pink, baby pink color. And I like that. Next thing I want to talk about is this foundation, which I did mention in my haul video. I'll post a link below if you want to watch that. I mentioned this in my haul video. It's the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I am in the color 905 Ivory. And I go a bit more into detail about this on my haul video. It's... I like it. It just stays on my skin. But not as good as the Revlon Color Stay, I'll tell you that. But I've been wearing this a lot in February. The next product I've been using a lot throughout February... <laughs> Sorry. Another product that I've been using a lot throughout February is my uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Soft and Gentle by MAC. Look at how pretty that color is. I use it as a highlight, obviously. It's so pretty. It's like the prettiest highlight ever. I've had it for a while, but I have my moments. Sometimes I wear it more often than other times, so... February, I've been wearing this quite often. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty, I love it. So that's that. Next, this is a repurchase that I did actually end of last month. But I wear this pretty much every day for, I've been wearing this for years. It's my MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Powder, I think. Transparent Powder. It's like the best powder out there in my opinion. It doesn't look cakey at all. It does not give you any coverage or color. It's just a setting powder and it keeps you matte which is amazing. I use this mostly to set my concealer because I feel like other powders don't really work well <laughs> to set my concealer because I already use a heavy coverage concealer so if I use a different like if I use a pressed powder it's only gonna make it cakey. But this doesn't make it cakey it just makes it so it, sorry my phone just vibrated. But this doesn't make it cakey, it just sets your concealer so it doesn't crease and it's pretty awesome. And I keep my boxes. I actually, I have my boxes for all these items. I don't know why I keep them, I just keep them till they're falling apart. 
The next two beauty products that I have are actually two lip balms, lipsticks, lip balm. Well, they're kind of like lip balms, they're not really lipsticks because they don't give you a lot of color. I've been wearing them pretty much all the time. This is the one that I wear almost every day. It's my Maybelline Baby Lips in the color... Oh crap. Sorry, I forgot the color. Okay, so I am terribly sorry. I don't remember the color. I know it's in the packaging somewhere, but I didn't keep that box. That one is gone. But um, it's a limited edition one. It's a pink... It's a, it's a baby pink color. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. It's by far one of my favorite pink nudes that's affordable and very, like it just stays on, like it's very creamy because it is lip balm. And um, yeah, I believe the color, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the color is pink wink. It doesn't say anywhere here, but I remember it was something like pink wink or pink... It can be pink blink, that's weird. I think it was pink wink. So that's the color for the baby lips. It's one that I'm wearing, like I said. The other products I've been using, I purchased this at the end of February, but I kind of like it and I'm pretty sure it's gonna make it into my March favorites. It's the Color Whisper by, is it Maybelline too? I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's by Maybelline. It's the Color Whisper lip balms, kind of. Oh wow, the color is just so wrong on camera. It's actually a, like a plum kind of color, but it's not too purple. It's, oh, I can't really say. I'm gonna swatch it for you to see. You can't really see it too much, but it's this color. The camera's not really picking up the, the exact color, but it's, it's really pretty. And this is my second Color Whisper that I buy. And I promised myself when I first bought my first Color Whisper that I wouldn't buy another one because they sucked so bad. I'm sorry, Maybelline or whoever made this. Oh, sorry, the color is in 90. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, color 90. Something lilac. Oh, la lilac? Ugh. Try to say that really fast. Oh, la lilac. Oh, la lilac. What? That's crazy. Okay, so that's that. And like I was saying, I didn't like my first um, color whisper because the color didn't really stay on. It was Rebel, Petal Rebel, something like that. It was the pink one. I bought it and um, I didn't like it. I really didn't like it. So I think that this one kind of stains my lips. The other, ones, the other one didn't do anything for me. But that one kind of stains my lips and it's a cute purple color, so I like that. Now let's move on to body products. I only have two. And the first one is my favorite ever from Bath & Body Works. Actually, I say that about almost every product that comes out. I say it's my favorite ever because I just like everything from there. Well, not everything, but you know, I like the fruity scents and this is perfect. It's Bally Mango. This is the body cream. It's like my second bottle. This is my second bottle because this is only like a seasonal scent, so they're not gonna have this in the winter, I'm pretty sure. So I had to like buy lots of these because I love the scent. It's very mango, fruity like, and it's awesome. I love it. Next is another product from Bath and Body Works, and it's a hand cream, and it's in strawberries. My favorite ever. I love strawberries. I actually have like an obsession with strawberry creams, strawberry hand sanitizers, strawberry shower gel, strawberries, everything. I love it. These hand creams are awesome. They stay on your skin pretty much. Like if you put it on, like you'd be able to smell this at the end of the day if you put it on like halfway through your day. I, I don't know, it, it works for me so I don't know if it'll work for you. But um... The last thing I want to talk about is a hair product. And I barely mention hair products because I barely ever, never, ever do anything to my hair anymore. Before I used to tease my hair, I used to hairspray it so much. And then my hair kind of started to get weak and really dry because I used to dye it a lot. Oh yeah, and I dyed it again. It's been a while since I dyed it and yeah, it's just a little bit lighter. So yeah, 
because I, I dyed my hair, I decided to kind of do something more to my hair to prevent it from breaking and getting dry and all these things. But this product doesn't really help with the dryness, I think. It just, ha it just protects my hair from the heat. And it is the Tresemme Creations, Thermal Creations. It's the heat spray, like the heat protector spray. It's the one that I use on my hair. I actually decided to pick this up since everybody talked about this and like said how this is what they use on their hair. So I don't even know if this works. There's no really, there's no way of me. I can't really say if this works or not. I would like to think that it works, but I just put it on my hair before I blow dry it and straighten it. And I like to think that it works, but I can't guarantee because well, my hair hasn't fallen off, which is a good thing, but it, I hope it protects my hair from the heat, which is, it claims to do, so I just hope it, yeah, hope it does that. Alright, so that is all for my monthly favorites video. Why do I do that? I don't know why I do that. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned, you know what to do. Comment. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.